Okay. Turn that off. <sighs> hey guys. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I would be so honest. I feel a little bit more nervous than my first video. I literally don't know why. I mean, I did take my ADHD medication for my first video. Um, so maybe that's what calmed my nerves and I felt more confident. I don't know. Um, putting that out there so I feel to make myself feel better. I think it's already working. <laughs> I'm getting in the flow of it. Um, but yeah, welcome to my closet. <laughs> um, I thought this was a good place to record because um, today's video is about fashion. Um, I really think that fashion is also a part of my art practice. Uh, yeah, I express myself in with my clothes and I really enjoy that. Sorry if you hear my cat. He's, or well, not my cat, my housemate's cat. I mean, technically my cat. Uh, he's very dramatic. <laughs> um, hello. Yeah. Um, I wanted to make this video because I feel like it's a good start for a big project. Uh, what I did was I filmed each of my fits for the week. I mean, I say is I mean I would say it's the weekday, um, so Monday through Friday, cause I want to get a video out, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I might on the community post. I might post my um party fit because <laughs> i'm excited about that uh on saturday i'm going to tomorrow i'm going to a pole party um well it's like a rock slash pole party so there's gonna be like punk shows and and then my pole club is gonna perform there so i'm really excited about that so yeah i'll probably post that um yeah did I explain? I think I explained why. I mean, I also want to show uh, my influences, what I like to wear, um, and also just talk about in general fashion or what I think of fashion is. Um, I love fashion. I really love fashion. I think um, it's been such an integral part in I don't know, our culture, like just like the world's culture, you know, it, it identifies who we are. It kind of without using words, um, ex expresses what we want to express, which I think is so cool. Um, but you know, there's also some parts that I think now in the modern day we struggle with and I definitely struggle with. Um, for example, I'm, I love to shop and consumerism is always getting me. <laughs> um, I always want to change my wardrobe. I always want to be able to expand. Um, and I just want to try different things in fashion. Um, but with that, that means it, it means you have to keep buying and me as a college student, I don't really think I should be buying as much clothes rather than food. <laughs> um, you know, um, and I think also just social media pushes us to keep buying. We see how how amazing people dress and how lucky and fortunate they are to be able to keep having such big wardrobes and cycling through so many clothes, which is like there's pros and cons to that, you know, like it's great that they're able to express themselves, but then they don't really show what they do after that with those clothes. Do they keep it? Do they throw it away in the trash? Do they donate it? What's going on after, you know? And then that nuance is never really spoken about. So when people see it just like 
front and center, like without showing like the complexity of it, people want to buy more, you know, want to buy more clothes. I definitely am one of those people, you know, but as I started reflecting more before this video and during making this video, um, yeah, I realized fashion does matter to everyone and, and everyone should be able to partake freely. But I think we also need to be responsible with how we consume. Um, I mean, for example, <laughs> some of my stuff is from like AliExpress or like, I mean, like big brands like uh, uh, Uniqlo, you know, and um, uh, other stuff like... Um, I'm like blanking out. Well, it's just like big brands, you know? Um, and for me personally, someone who wants to make an impact with what I'm doing most of the time, uh, I'm trying to do more um, thrifting, more buying online secondhand. Um, sure, sometimes it can be more expensive doing that. But if you dig deep, it takes time. That also, time is also valuable and a privilege to have, you know. Um, if I have the time, I, I, I really look into like Depop. Sorry, this keeps turning on. Um, I look on Depop and I always try to put like keywords. I always put like the limit to like $20 and under. Um, I also realized that like, we really want certain brands, but does it really matter? Low key, I love like off brand shit, you know, I mean, of course, no stealing. But like, if I want, okay, I really want a tracksuit. And the juicy tracksuits are so freaking cute. But I'm trying to also be mindful of like my budget and my and like what the goal is for me. And my goal is not to have a a brand just just to show it off. I want something that's cute. That's literally it. That's the only reason like why I want a tracksuit is because it's cute. So I don't think brand really matters to me. Um, and I'm trying to find things that are similar and do its job, you know. Um, it's kind of crazy the markets for like big brands or like um, what's it called? It's like things that are not produced anymore. Things that are like de oh dead stock, yeah, dead stock, dude. That shit goes like three times its price. I understand why, but it's so, I it's such a weird culture to me. It's kind of. I don't know. It feels really weird to me. I don't know how to explain it. And I don't want to. I'm not really in that culture either. So I don't know. But from an outside perspective, it feels very elitist. I don't know. I I just don't like that. It's not accessible. And people don't. It, it doesn't feel for the love of that brand or whatever item. It's like dead stock. It feels more like um exploitative kind of thing. I mean, that's that's capitalism. Anyways. <laughs> um yeah, I th those are some things I wanted to talk about when it comes to fashion. Um cuz there there's always going to be a good and bad to things. And I think um exploring kind of like those like darker sides of you know, topics are important and I think should be addressed. Um, and that comes along with the good side, you know, which is making me happy, you know, being able to find like those items that really I connect with and being able to wear it. It feels so good. Um, yeah. And I think I wanted to show that this week with what I wear and kind of and kind of show um, my interests. Yeah. 
Um, this week was also kind of a challenge because I got a t- new tattoo last week, <laughs> and I have a lot of tight pants. <laughs> so that was really hard to like not. I was so tempted to wear some like uh, skinny flare jeans yesterday. I didn't do it though, so I'm really proud of that. Um, so that was one challenge. And then the other was like, this week has been like really hard due to personal reasons. Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but like, uh, yeah, it was just hard. Like I had to focus on just being there for people, which I was gladly like willing to do and capable to do at the moment. Uh, but then I was also making this video. So it was just balancing that. Um, and I'm really proud of myself that I stuck my guns and I continued with it. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, so those were two of my challenges going into this. Um, but I did it. And I'm pretty happy. Hey, my friend said this, and I thought it was so true. With limits comes creativity. And I think I think I did pretty good. Um I think one thing also is <laughs> when making this video, I was trying to be as realistic as possible with my outfits um, throughout the week. Of course, I put a little bit more, I won't lie, I put a little bit more effort because, I mean, this is going on the internet, so, you know, I gotta look good. But still, um, I try to be realistic. There were some days that I was more lazy than others, um, but they were still good outfits. Even though it's more low effort and you didn't think about it as much, it's still an outfit, you know, and I'm and I'm happy that I have a wardrobe now that I can wear comfy clothes and still look fashionable. I've I'm strategically like uh, removed items in my wardrobe that like I thought were not that I didn't like anymore. So I would not wear them, you know, and then I would ha- I have more items that I think are more comfy, but are still fashionable. So it's just, it takes a while to find that wardrobe that really you connect with. And it takes time, money, and thought. And those things, it's a lot of effort. So if you want to find your wardrobe, it takes time. Know that. And no rush as well. We all are in different places and things are happening. So take your time. Yeah, I guess I'll talk about my influences. Um... So I'm I'm really <laughs> well let's let's start with this. My favorite color is blue <laughs> and I think that gray really complements blue. So there's a lot of blue, gray, um brown, a lot of browns. Um and when I was younger I also really liked green. I thought green and blue complement each other. Of course they do. Um, so there's a lot of green as well, um, in my wardrobe. Slowly it's kind of tapering off, but I think those are my major colors. Um, as of right now, I guess my fashion influences are, (laughs) are Gyaru. Um, I recently gotten really into Gyaru, just like seeing like content and just seeing on my Pinterest. Um, I think it's such a amazing culture yeah i i'm i maybe i'll link some videos of like the history of garo because i don't want to go into it nor i don't feel like i'm in the i'm the right person to do that because i know like pretty much like i'm pretty sure surface level things being also someone who doesn't know japanese nor japanese culture um i'm probably never gonna know the exact nuances of the culture because probably most things are not translated to English which rightfully so you know but just seeing like the visuals is super interesting um one I think really big aspect of Kyaru culture that I take from or inspire myself from is a tail um in my outfits you'll see I'm wearing a tail um so that's from that uh oh and shorts (laughs) I'm obsessed with wearing shorts now jean shorts and things like that um that comes from gyaru (laughs) 
a lot of people ask me, are you a furry? And I'm like, well, if that makes you think I'm a furry, then sure. I literally don't give a fuck because I think furries are fine. They're cool. They're doing what they're doing. And if I'm associated with that, go ahead. I literally, what you think is what you think. I, I, I'm not going to change any of that, you know, just. I just like to wear it. That's all I say to people. I just like to wear it. Uh, but it actually comes from Gara culture. Um, or I think it's better to say Gyaro fashion. Um, what else? I'm really... I have been and really been into Vaporwave, which is kind of like this futuristic kind of um, music genre. And I'm really into drum and bass, jungle, like really futuristic electronic music, um, which I think really plays into my fashion as well. I I don't like to say cyber Y2K because I, I don't, I don't know why. I just don't identify with that um, label. It, I there I'm definitely associated or look similar to that fashion, but I don't personally um associate with that. Um but yeah, I think those are I guess the key things about my fashion that have influenced that have influenced me. <sighs> okay. Just came back from work. <laughs> so I'm like disassembled basically. Uh quick intermission. But finally I'm gonna show my fits because <laughs> I think this is probably what people have been waiting for. I don't know. Anyways. Um so we start with Monday. Monday I wore a skirt with um my leg warmers, my new rock. And my Happy 99 jacket and my Uniqlo jacket. Um, I really like this fit because it's it was a warm option for that day. And also, it's just really clean cut. I, I really like the shape of this outfit, especially. My next one, um, I don't, like I said, I don't have that many... Uh, loose pants so this time I want to wear shorts I just got these shorts from Target actually so I wanted to put them in an outfit um yeah uh, I like layering I really like this outfit but I feel like the bottoms are maybe a little lacking and then first peak of my tail um yeah I only have two tails one is brown and then one is blue um you can't really tell, but the sweater is actually slightly pink. Um, it's a super comfy um, sweater. Also, I'll probably make a list. I'll be making a list of all the clothes I have. Is it focusing on me? Hopefully. Um, I'm going to make a list of all the clothes in the comments or... Sorry, not in the comments. In the description below. And I'll also probably be um, putting links for my inspo or just people that I think have cool like fashion content. Uh, my second fit, this one, I didn't put as much effort in. Um, those blue pants I really like. They're like my go-to for like when I'm feeling lazy. Um... It was a cold day, um, and I wanted to be warm. Also, those boots, those are also, like, another, like, hack for me. Um, when I'm lazy, I put those bad boys on, and it just it elevates it. Um, yeah, I actually really like this fit. Um, giving masculine. Yeah. Next fit, um, it's getting a little bit warmer, as you can also tell. I'm, like, being hit by the sun. <laughs> Um, as you can tell, I'm like, I cycle through kind of the same clothes each week. Um, <laughs> I have like my, you know, my favorites. 
I think I need to clean up my closet. There's some things that I don't wear anymore. I think I should donate um, or just give to my friends if they want it. Yeah, this was a really comfy fit as well. I wasn't feeling it. But, you know, I still put the effort. Um, but yeah, this jacket I really love. It's like one of my favorite jackets. Super comfy. Um, I, I love like the shape of it, the design as well. It's beautiful. The only thing is I wish there was a design in the back. Yeah. Oh, also in this fit, um, the pants don't have belt loops. So like sometimes when like a pant doesn't have a belt loop, I just wear the belt just like that and then cover it with like a jacket. All right. Last fit, today's fit. Um, I wore my classic blue shorts. Those are also my favorite. And uh, some fishnets to add a little bit more texture to the bottoms of my outfit and yeah I actually didn't wear the brown jacket at the end because it was actually pretty hot but I did wear as you can tell I can wear I wore the ribbed jacket I also really like this I got it as a gift for my housemate thanks yeah yeah so I hope you guys like that <laughs> um Again, I was trying to be as realistic as possible. I think now that I see, I think it is. Um, but yeah, uh, with that, you can see that I do sometimes here and there recycle um, items that I've worn over the week. And that's okay, you know, because clothes are clothes. They're meant to be worn. Um, and I really like what I have. So, of course, I want to show it off. <laughs> Um, I also wanted to talk about, I realized, um, after recording the first half, I realized I didn't kind of give a solution to, you know, consuming and buying. Um, and I, like, I also realized, like, I should probably mention this, that, um, I've been thinking about upcycling my clothes. So that, that's looking like something that I don't wear as much I want to like um add more to it so I'm planning to um maybe use other clothes that I have and add it to it and I'm also thinking of like um buying more items that I feel like I'll keep using if I'm upcycling my clothes like I'm gonna get more eyelets um I'm also gonna get some fabric from Joann's um or, I mean, I could also low-key, if I want to go cheaper, I could also go to, like, a thrift store, find a shirt, and cut it up, you know? Um, yeah, so maybe I'll make a video about that. Um, we'll see. But, yeah, I want to upcycle, and that's that's something that's that I've kind of been doing. I've been a little... Um, I haven't been going crazy on the upcycling, but when I do, it does like it does make me think differently of like an item that I didn't really like as much. And then after I change it up, I start wearing it more. Um, so, for example, like that uh, the hoodie with like the black pocket on it, like the one where I was wearing like the my blue uh, my blue pants with uh, that one, I upcycled. It used to have like the kangaroo pocket, but then I wanted to change it up. So I just put like a black pocket on like my right side um, and I wear it more. I don't know. It just looks different and it just made me wear it more. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I just my phone keeps turning on. <laughs> um, I really hope you guys like seeing my outfits and um my opinions on fashion and things like that. I would also like to know your opinions. Um, if you like, comment below. <laughs> it feels so weird saying that. Um, yeah, I'm interested as well with outfits that you guys like or fashion, um, fashion subcultures and um, aesthetics that you guys like. Uh, let me know. Um, I will be probably putting a bunch of links and resources um about fashion um i think that's it um 
this was a long video for sure. I mean, I like I like talking, so I'm pretty sure my videos are going to be this long. I don't know. I mean, this is only my second video, so we'll see. But anyways, thanks for sticking this long. And hopefully you'll see a video from me very, very soon. It'll probably be um, a shorter project. Um, so hopefully I can get that out next week. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys. Bye.